So I had a video about using um, attenuators with your tiny SA and not to destroy your tiny SA. So um, you needed to choose both the attenuation value, how many dBs of attenuation you need, but you also needed to choose how many watts your attenuator could attenuate. Um, and so you don't want to just use a little tiny attenuator because it'll burn up and maybe it's only good for two watts. Um, you need to have something beefier. Uh, so I found this on eBay. I um, got it for $10. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, this is a 30 watt attenuator. So it's 30 dB and 30 watts. Uh, so that's, that's a really good value. Um, and it's end connectors. Uh, it's pretty high quality. This is made by a company called Pasternak. And Pasternak is here in California and they make a lot of nice RF stuff. So this one is rated DC to one gigahertz, 30 watts, 30 dB, and uh, it's obviously been around the block, uh, but this thing is just built like a tank, so I'm sure it will last uh, well beyond me and uh, get a lot of use, so that was a good one. Um, so I thought, okay, well, that's, that's a good value. I, I had some other ones that were a good wattage value, but not a good dB value. So um, I sold those on eBay and traded up to this one. I actually made more money on those and then uh, was able to buy this one and pocketed a little change. And then um, I was poking around and then I found the Holy Grail. <laughs> I found the attenuator that I've been looking for and it's this one. He's so cute. He's a uh, SMA to SMA and it's good for five watts and so it's perfect so let me uh let me get my radio out here so i've got this uh bao feng and i can disconnect my antenna and i can attach my my load and isn't that cute <laughs> so the radio is good for four and a half watts this is five watts and uh, 30 dB, uh, perfect. So uh, this is measuring about 36, 37, plus 36, plus 37 dB. Um, so I'll get just over zero dBm uh, on this side and um, probably want to attenuate it even a little bit more. So I've got a bunch of other attenuators that are like two watt attenuators. So uh, Putting the two of these together uh, will be will be great to go right into the uh, right into the tiny SA. All right. So let me uh, let me show you how good this attenuator is, though. I'm just shocked at how well this thing tested. Okay. So let's uh, let's test this thing, and uh, so we'll use the uh, we'll use the nano VNA uh, to test this. So I don't know if you can see that, but that Smith chart is like one pixel. It's like perfect match uh, DC to a gigahertz within one pixel. It's just perfect. Um, so quite impressed with that. And then let's see how, uh, how flat the response is. We'll do the S21. So this is S11. We'll take a look at S21. And uh, so, uh, so here's 0, 10, 20, 30 dB. It's a perfect 30 dB, and it's perfectly flat all the way across. This is one of the best attenuators I've ever seen. Uh, I look these up, and they sell for, they still make these. They sell for $170 used, I mean, new, $170. Uh, so this is just a super, super good attenuator. Um, and I got it for 12 bucks. Uh, that was just really, really great. And like I said, this is uh, made by the Pasternak company. Um, so, uh, quite impressive, quite impressive. Uh, I think it's just, I think it's just the best thing. So let's go ahead and put it on the, uh, on the tiny SA and see how, uh, see how it works. That looks good. And, uh, I will put this on the uh, put this on the radio. So, like I said, we have about uh, plus thirty-seven. This will turn it into plus seven because we have thirty dB attenuation. Plus seven is still too much for this. 
So I'm going to uh, put the uh, 20 dB pad in there. So we'll get about uh, minus 13, something like that. So we're going to use that. And that's a male, so we need to have a little adapter that comes with the... doesn't come with the SA, it comes with the, uh, comes with the Nano. All right, so, so now we have a total of 50 dB, 50 dB of uh, attenuation, and now we can uh, key the transmitter, and there we go, boom, measuring minus 17, just like I said. Uh, and, uh, oh, unfortunately, the uh, spectrum analyzer is hunting again. This is a known bug. I pointed it out to Eric, and uh, uh, he's going to work on it, try to get rid of that. Uh, bug this going up and down, up and down. Uh, anyway, uh, there you go. So uh, this little attenuator is, yeah, it's getting warm to the touch, uh, but certainly can handle the uh, four and a half watts that the, uh, that the radio has. So pretty cool. Nice and tiny.